As we gather this morning, we have much to give thanks for, and um, it's a great way to start your Thanksgiving day by being here and offering a formal moment of prayer in thanksgiving for all God's abundant blessings to you and to us as a parish family as well. And as we gather, uh, the best thanks that we can offer is for the, the love that God has for us, that he's leading us and guiding us in our ways, and that uh, as we gather in his name, so we can always find many reasons to give thanks to him for our lives and for our livelihoods, for all that uh, allows us to truly be his people. We had a mass on Tuesday for the school kids, and we went around the church all the way around and asked them what they're grateful for, what they're thankful for. And uh, you can imagine many were uh, right on the mark. Many of them said things like, I'm grateful for church, I'm grateful for uh, family, I'm grateful for my brothers and sisters, I'm grateful for uh, food. Um, one of them was very grateful to have roads. I don't know what that meant, but I guess we have to be thankful for roads because we wouldn't be able to go anywhere, would we? But they understood and they were filled with uh, hearts that were full of gratitude and, and thanksgiving for even the simplest blessings. And I challenged them on Tuesday to make this day, Thanksgiving Day, a day where we not only give thanks one time, but maybe every hour on the hour, we might find an opportunity to think about something that we're thankful for and give thanks to God for that thing or for that person or whatever. And so that challenge is your challenge today. You're starting now at uh, 9 o'clock hour to give thanks, but let's maybe think about something every hour on the hour that we're grateful for today and turn that gratitude to God and give thanks to him even in the simplest things.